Hello. Hey. That is a awfully large guitar case. <laughs> yeah, <that's> pretty heavy. <laughs> There we go. For an extremely large guitar. Can we pull it out? Yeah. It's a 1979 Carl Sandoval custom built Flying V. All right. Well, it's signed by Carl Sandoval. It says 1979 on the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my Carl Sandoval Flying V guitar. I've been playing guitar for over uh, 30 years, and I have like 22 mm. guitars. And this is one I bought at an online auction. Mm. And this one, the diamonds aren't really my style for my band right now. So I'm looking to get 4,500 for it today. It looks really, really cool. Carl Sandoval, he was a really big innovator with guitars in the 70s. The cool thing he did, though, was he made guitars that are a lot that were thicker than the Gibsons, so they could have a bridge like this right, put into right. it. The tremolo. Yeah, the tremolo it, bar right there. I mean, because, you know, like the late, late 70s, I mean, these guys are bending those things. Right. You know, they're getting on stage, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right. you, needed, you needed a bigger body to handle this kind of tremolo in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what made his, everyone want his guitars. Heavy metal mm -hmm. music abuses a guitar, and you needed sort of like the heavy duty guitar that could handle it. And right. he came up with the perfect guitar for that. You know, Gibson came out with a flying V, I think it was like 1958, but they only made a few of them, weren't real successful. The V style got popular again in the late 60s, and all of a sudden it just popped and everybody wanted a flying V. Jimi Hendrix actually had a flying V. Yeah, yeah. Um, Carl Sandoval, he filled a hole in the market that existed at the time. Still really, really popular guitars. Um, his stuff is definitely a demand, brings really good money. Yeah, yeah. He mm. didn't make a whole lot of these in the 70s. Um, I know he's still making guitars. I've seen this guitar that's polka dotted. I've never seen it with like the diamond shapes on it. Was this ever repainted or anything like that? No, um, I think it's it was custom built for a guy right around the same time he built Randy Rhodes' polka dot flying V. Oh, all right, yeah, because so, he, yeah, he made one for Randy Rhodes from Quiet Riot. Right. Um, how much did you want for it? Um, 4,500. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to call somebody up who will know more about this guitar than I would. I'll be right back. All okay? right, thank you. This is Carl Sandoval. No way. <laughs> Look at that paint job. Unbelievable. I can tell what kind of paint that I used back then just by the patina that check it out. Originally, I mean, this thing has been played on stage a oh, lot. Definitely. Because you can just tell it's not faded where the guy's arm was. Definitely. Can you hold that one second? Sure. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> Okay, this body is it's made out of alder. It's a flying V. It, it's incorporating Gibson and Fender. Okay, we've got the Fender bridge, six inline tuners, and uh, toggle switch. So it's definitely yours, and it's definitely one of a kind. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the reason why I'd say one of a kind, diamonds, I don't recall building, ever building another guitar that had the diamond pattern on it. But... Um, I'm just glad to see it. All right, so the big, <laughs> big question is, who'd you make it for? Well, this was made Tell for... Tell me, like, some massive rock star. <laughs> uh, well, actually, it was made for a guy in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And where he ended up going, I really don't know. He was a rock star in his own mind. Uh, yes. Uh, would you like to know what I would charge for one of these if I build it right now? How much that? Yeah, sure. You're looking at about seven grand. Okay. For a guitar like this. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Very welcome. Call me anytime. It's a pleasure. Good, good talking to you. Thanks, man. Have fun. Beautiful guitar. Good luck. Okay, well, I brought in the legend himself who <laughs> verified it. Yeah. Um, once again, what do you want for this thing? 45, I think, is fair. And I like to stay right on that just because it's the one of a kind oh. and it's one of the first ones he did. Help out a starving musician. <laughs> All music, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? I have, uh, you know, I built this pawn shop on starving musicians. Yeah. All right, I tell you what, we'll thirty-seven hundred bucks. Awesome. We got a deal, man. Thanks, man. Okay. They just gotta teach me how to use it. No. <laughs> Cruise right around the corner. I'll write you up All and right. um, I'll get you paid. Thank you. All right, no problem. Got the guitar. I just need to get my hair back. Then I'll be a rock star. <laughs>